Good morning, everyone. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Hoang Minh, member of the University of uh, Medicine and Pharmacy at Ho Chi Minh City. Today, I'm here to present about our research, the screening value of stop and stop M questionnaire on obstetric sleepy apnea in patients with CBD. <coughs> My presentation is in five parts. The first, uh, as you know, uh, OSA has been listed as one of the major uh, comorbidity of COPD, and the term COPD uh, OSA overlap syndrome uh, is used to decrease the causes of the two conditions. The prevalence of OSA among COPD patients has been reported in many in many uh, study and to run from three to sixty six percent. And uh, <clears throat> when overlapping of the two conditions um, may contribute to increased nocturnal oxygen, um, cardiovascular risk, number of uh, acute exacerbation, hospitalization, and mortality rates, as well as the financial burden of severe dependent. Given the impact of OSA in patients with CBD, may the, it seem the logistic to investigate predictor that have uh, <coughs> in my our research. Um, as you know, the stop band questionnaire is an A question screening uh, tool that has high sensitivity and to detect OSA in sleep clinical patients with a far subject. Uh, such as uh, snore, time, obstetric apnea, high blood pressure, and uh, for demography item is bank, BMI, age, neck, and gender. Uh, but uh, the uh, um, demography item such as BMI, age, neck, gender is not so is no association in OSA in pension with CBD. So, uh, <coughs> Malambati score, it also uh, have a high uh, associated with sleep apnea. So, we uh, <coughs> uh, use Malambati to reply the band in stop band questionnaire. And um, my, uh, <coughs> my purpose of uh, our research to examine the valid DC of stop bank and modify stop bank questionnaire is stop M to screening for OSA in patients with, with COPD. The general object in our research is uh, assume the validity of the stop bank and modify stop bank questionnaire to screen for OSA in patients with COPD. Uh, it's composed to specific objective is the first Determining OSI frequency in CBD pension at the pupil hospital of Janet. And the uh, second is examining the validity of stop band and modified stop band to screen in OSI in pension with CBD at the pupil hospital of the Janet. Uh, next, I would like to talk about material and methods. Our research population is pension over 40 years old who come to my uh, hospital and were diagnosed with CBD uh, according to the gold standard. And there are no exclu exclusion criteria such as uh, first confusion or unable to communicate to lung disease or other than CBD such as asthma or bronchiectasis. Our uh, pension have contract indicates or not a cooperation with ventilate polygraph. We perform a cross session study with a minimum sample size a 98 pension. Uh, this is a protocol for our research. Pension with COBD will meet, uh, include criteria and uh, without exclude criteria, then uh, they were advised to study and sign consent form if they agree to participate. Then they complete stop and stop and questionnaire. 
Then they will perform ventilatory polygraph with five channel monitoring. We record even OSA with RHC above uh, 15 even per hour. Uh, in our research, we use ventilate polygraphs, at least nine one with five channel in laboratory. And the value of a uh, uh, diagnosis OSA in pension with COPD of ventilate a ventilatory polygraph with five channel was demonstrated very high sensitivity and high specificity. <clears throat> uh, in my star, uh, in our research statistical analysis about uh, degression statistics were computed for recast variable. And uh, the sensitivity and specificity of both stop and and stop M questionnaire were calculated for AHI's cut of scar. And then the drop curve was repaired with ASI <coughs> above uh, um, 15 uh, even per, per hour for the stop and and stop M questionnaire. And the uh, AUC were also computed. Uh, I would like to move on research and discussion. Uh, 100 and one patient with CBD were enrolled. Um, the clinical practice of research population are uh, outlined in the table. <coughs> uh, the participants in my our research were generally elder, with mean age were 67 years old. 98% was men and median BMI were <coughs> 21 and spirometry demonstrates an average moderate to server <coughs> uh, up to 101 pension uh, have uh, uh, 30 pension were diagnosed with OSA. The sensitivity and the specificity for the stop band and stop M questionnaire are present in the table. As you see, the stop band questionnaire has shall have a high sensitivity uh, in screening for OSA in a pension with uh, cell bed. But it lacks specific. And as you see, stop M have a high specificity uh, compared to stop, stop band. Uh, value of AUC of a rough cover are calculated for uh, ASI above 15 for both stop and stop band questionnaire are presented in the finger. And uh, I would say of uh, stop M uh, have uh, compared uh, stop uh, band uh, with uh, <coughs> RSE above 15. So we have a conclusion first reason of OSI in Penton with CBD was um, uh, 29 top 7 percent and second the stop and, and stop M questionnaire can have to screen OSI in Penton with CBD. The stop M questionnaire is a valid and statistically superior to compared to stop and questionnaire for identify OSI in Penton with CBD. Uh, our study have uh, some limitation. Uh, the ventilatory polygraphs due to participate of this study has been shown to be highly sensitive and specific compared to PSI, but PSI remains the gold standard. Thank you for listening. It's a pleasure being here today. Thank you, Dr. Hoàng Minh, for your presentation. Now the floor is open for questions.